Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Trophynet the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to The Last of Us Part 2. In a very, very, well, I wouldn't say weird section, it's just a superfluous section. I'm really, I'm really liking the game, I still, I still really like the game, but the past section we've just done, so day one in Seattle for Ali and Tina, but with Abby, so Abby's side of things, don't know if it was all that useful. I don't know what the game is trying to achieve here. I think it wants us to feel uh, a sort of affection towards Abby as well, but it's just been boring, bland. We haven't learned anything new. The only thing that was kind of new is the fact that we uh, finally, well, met Isaac in the flesh. But even that wasn't all too refreshing. It wasn't telling us anything new. It was just showing us, hey, this guy's the leader. And that was basically it. Everything else was, well, recycling things that we already knew. So the relationship between Owen and Abby. Um, the I fact that they like the aquarium, the like fact this. that, they, yeah, I don't know. How are you getting to the aquarium? The highway? Can't, too many patrols. I get spotted for sure. I'll rough it. Aquarium's due west of here. Keep following the sun, right? I'm coming with you. I've done this before. Not with these many scouts in the area. Many. Please. All right. <laughs> you know best. I mean, even this, we know Manny will probably not survive because we haven't seen him. Um, and everything else, yeah, we're working towards the aquarium where Owen is supposed to be, but we know that Ellie eventually kills Owen and Mel in the aquarium, so even that is predetermined. The only thing that we don't know is why Owen actually left and what his connection to a certain scar is supposed to be. Um, so that might make this chapter a bit more interesting than the previous one, but the previous one was, to me at least, a complete waste of time. We had a few encounters with scars, but that was about it. And even though it was, it was really cool to see the stadium and all, so the, the WLF base, we already kind of knew that they had a lot of people because of the sheer volume of people that Ali killed. Um, so there had to be a lot more people than just that. Ooh, that room. Uh, what are you doing? I'm, I'm just scrounging around, Manny. Here? Let's grab What's this it? letter. Uh, my man, oh. my lover, when I'm no. with you, the world slips. Whispering Spanish in my ear? <laughs> hey, that's private. There oh we my go. Oh god, this is your place? How many sex stands do you have in this QZ? Okay, perdón, no hablo inglés. Okay, fair enough, I like, I like Manny. Um, but still, it, it makes the, the previous section a bit weird. I'm trying to think of all the things that it it, hey. it has introduced, but no, thanks. Didn't really. For this? Yeah, and other stuff, you know. You're a good friend. <laughs> Come on, Ax. You know I can handle all this emotion. Yeah, you're a good friend who's definitely not about to die because you know we've seen you later on and stuff. So you're definitely, definitely not gonna die. <laughs> I mean the. Um, the foreshadowing is real with this one, but okay. So we're heading towards the aquarium, which means that again, once again, we're heading towards the Ferris wheel. Looks clear. Which oh. is also part of why I don't really like this section, because we're just recycling things we've already done as Alley. Of course, not through the same routes, right. but the story is moving forward. When you find him, don't hit him too hard. I'll do my best. Seriously. Let yourself out there. See ya. I mean, this would have just worked just as nicely with just a few uh, cutscenes. Up until now, of course. I don't know what's gonna happen. Might be that it's it's gonna have more of an impact now that we're playing along, but... Yeah, I, I still can't shake the feeling that we're doing stuff all over again. Especially since everything has been reset. So the crafting's been reset. The, um, the weapon upgrades has been reset. We have different weapons. So... I, just a little bit annoying that we're ju just starting from scratch. And shields were always important in the previous game, so let's just make that an ability we can now use. And then if we check it over here, yeah, so we can now craft shivs that break on use. 
Instantly kills enemies from stealth and saves from clicker grabs. Craft sh two shifts that break on you. So that's basically the same way as they worked in the previous game. So nothing special over there. Let's just find everything we want and move on. Oh, and then we hear gunshots. So we're trying to stay undercover from both the scars and the WLF. Now I'm actually just checking. Did I miss? Can I go into this building? Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Fair enough. Although it seems like it's. I do love the fact that most of the buildings at least got a bit of attention in regards to. Hey, you could enter this, but not entirely. And yeah, I just I just generally like how many buildings you can actually enter. It uh, makes the place feel a little bit more alive, especially since there's uh, usually good loot in every building you, that you can go into. <sighs> so it does incentivize you to do that. Okay, let's just crawl down because the smell usually means stuff is bad. Seems like a carpet store, an oriental carpet store. But other than that, well, we can find some rags here. Okay, absolutely nothing. <laughs> Ah, oh, gotta love that. You're literally in a fabric store and you can't find rags. That's just... I just want to try if there's anything behind that. But no, there's not a single piece of rags around here. Which is just ridiculous. Okay, let's turn off the flashlight and go through the very obvious exit. Still shooting. But other than that, we seem to be fine. So since we've seen all of this before, I'm also going to just try and move through this a little bit more quickly. Um, well, not that we've seen this level specifically, but the gameplay mechanics are constantly the same, so it's not that I need to show you something special. So I'll try to cut out most of the uh, non-action out of it, unless I have something interesting to say. Like, for example, hey, there's a new coin. North Dakota. So that's, I think, our, our seventh coin or something like that. Um... This does look a bit more scary, but I don't think we've ever faced like a serious mob of infected with Abby just yet. Even though, no, I don't count that as a different stealth section. But this is apparently, probably, what's going to happen now. Of course, we did have the horde of infected. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Um, can, can you just use the gun? Oh, wow. Uh, 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 okay, but this is interesting. There you go. Okay. Wow. Okay, yeah, that was new. Oh, to a great start. Yeah, definitely very loud for everything. <laughs> that was that was. Oh, okay, that got me on edge a little bit. Fair enough, game. Thanks for reminding me that this is still kind of a horror game. Um, but doesn't that mean that there's like spores around Abby? No? Okay. Fair enough. Any more infected? No, but definitely more stuff around. Seems to be only that, just one clicker and then on top of the wall. I also feel like Abby can actually jump farther than uh, Ali can, which makes sense and is a nice touch. The fact that she actually can- ooh, 20 pills over here, so that means that we can upgrade again. I think I should probably so listen mode movement speed and then grab the enemy movement speed, faster prone movement, and craft more shivs. Which crafts up to three of them each time. But the other side gives me increased health and listen mode range. So I think holding breath is gonna be a very cool ability. Combined with a rifle that we can actually hold our breath a little bit is gonna be nice. Uh, and it looks like we need to... Yeah, so that's the Ferris wheel. Can make it before sunset. Let's crawl underneath make here. Before sunset. Aha! Uh -huh. And there we have... An, that's actually a really cool wall sculpture. May she guide you. Of the, the Seraphite leader. We still don't know her name, I think. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, guide you right off a cliff. Well, it is a nice Spikes artwork. In our backyard. Ooh, I can go into this building. And I can go into this building. I think that's probably the way forward. So I'm just gonna... Does that Abby actually has a journal? I don't think she has. Uh, so let's go over here. 
and check this out. Seems like there's more pills over here. But aside from some pills, there's nothing really interesting. There was a bit of binding, but other than that, nothing of use. So this is again just a bit of a looting area before we get into the thick of it. We can go crawl through there. The next floor seems to be broken. So he's going for the truck. And they're trying to get to it, which actually makes make sense. So I'm trying to move my way around. So I can grab this guy over here. The other one is silent. I'm not going to use the shiv. Shivs are precious. But I can use shivs on clickers if I want to. And there we go. This guy can also go down. Or this woman, by the sounds of it. That's that. And then I think there is a clicker in the next room. I saw, I heard something when I was moving past. There's at least one runner. He doesn't care about his buddies being dead. That's a, a completely silent clicker, which is actually interesting. Of course, I need to shift this thing. Uh, so I think that's triangle. Oh, yeah, don't need, don't need to be too quick about it. Let's just slowly approach the click. There we go. And it's actually just one action. That is fine. Okay. That is fine. Luckily, we just unlocked that ability. That's probably why you get all those spills, so you can actually unlock that. Okay, so that means that we can actually just loot around. So, once again, nothing too spectacular, just a few crafting materials. And, um, yeah, basically that's it. Crafting materials for the weapon upgrades, and then just some crafting materials like alcohol and rags. Um, I think I could make another... Um, health kit but don't see the use of it right now could have great the melee weapon doesn't don't, doesn't seem too interesting right now as well might as well craft a few more shears while we're at it so we have them in the bag if we need them and uh oh that's a convenient wall if i need to take cover no okay okay so this area opens up a bit again so there's a part on the right here Which brings us... What's this going to be? Oh, full batch of alcohol. Don't mind if I do. And then... What's this? Seems like one of those Chinese lion statues, but... Other than that, so that was just an, a, a separate area for some alcohol. Okay, game, fair enough. This seems like Ambush Alley to me. This is... Okay, so there's a few side areas, so we can... Looting central. So this seems like a pharmacist. There's plenty of pills around once again. So that means that we can indeed go to the extra listen mode range. Although, yeah, definitely listen mode range. So we can get grab that health and break next. Ooh, survival training. Silver trophy. That is really nice. Okay, this is probably going to be locked. But... Oh, this is definitely like... Am I gonna be the bull in the china shop? Oh god. What the hell was that? I heard the clicker noise. Can I smash this guy with my... What the fuck? Let, let's just use the brick. What the actual hell? <laughs> this is weird. So there's another break over here. Why is nothing happening? Oh man. Okay, you got me on edge again. Fine. I think there's probably a clicker stuck somewhere, so he's hearing the noise. But he can't actually do anything about it. And there's a safe over here, so that is... Definitely something we need to open up. So this street is kind of like a mini puzzle. Got it. Uh, let's just gather as much resources as we can. As many resources as we can. Proper English, please. Because, yeah, that's always important. And this was a, like, a bakery of some sort. Like wedding cakes. And then the next area seems to be a bar. But this was definitely the, uh, the Chinese quarter. Or the Asian quarter. I don't want to... 
generalize here, but nothing really behind the counter except from these. Ooh, never mind, I'm not saying nothing. That was 16 crafting parts. That was really, really nice. And then a bit of rags on the counter, probably what they used to clean up. Oh, damn. Why is there no music at all? This is just putting me on edge again. Okay, so there is a second floor to this building, which is probably going to allow us... Yeah, okay, so definitely this is where the clicker is. Okay. But it sounds like there's only one of them. Damn it. Just stay out of my way. Oh, no, definitely two. Definitely two. Oh god! Oh god! Um, um. There we go. Ooh, that was a lucky headshot. Okay, so with that, with that, right. I'm gonna actually upgrade my melee weapon. Millions to go. Yeah, but that's not on you, Abby. You don't need to kill the entire world. Uh, although you're probably also doing a good job on that front. So, melee weapon upgraded. Only two shots lost. What was that? I think the building is creaking. That's fine. I'm totally not on edge. Everything is A-OK. -okay. And as I thought, yeah, this is going to allow us to jump to the other side. That's a nice mural, by the way. So let's just... Take a quick look around if there's anything else, but it doesn't seem like it. And then we can do the Yabby yeah, jump. There we go. There we go. Probably should be careful that there's no other uh, clickers around. And we'll check the downstairs area first. Okay. I don't know why you would wrap your uh, statues in cloth like that. But, Bo, I'm sorry I wasn't here when you got back. The place must look like a bomb went off. Someone must have tipped Fedra off to our little ration operation. Bet it was Zhao, that snake. I managed to hide some of her stuff, but I worry our business partners aren't going to be happy with the shipment gone. I put some of the supplies in the safe. The combination is 689689. Come join me in our other hideout. It's time to think about an exit strategy. Be safe. Uh, safe. May. So 68689. Ah, 689689. Okay. 689689. Got it. And there's an other note over. Oh no. Ooh. What is this? It's the Jack and Dexter egg. That's probably also a trophy. The precursor orb. That's really cool. There we go. Relic of the Sages. So we got uh, a Jack and Dexter Easter egg and an Uncharted Easter egg. Fair enough. Then we got all the Easter eggs, I suppose. Oh, this is not going to be good. There we go. <laughs> oh. There we go. Okay, that was very anticlimactic. Um, is there another one around here? Doesn't seem like it. I guess I'll deal with it once it uh, pops up. So just walking into the vases actually smashes them, which is really funny. I think I'm going to try and destroy everything. Hey! Okay, this is just a little, a little, a little bit of fun. A little bit of fun. I don't know if there's going to be a trophy tied to this. Oh, look at this, it's just... Oh, I can't actually smash these things by just hitting them with the... Ooh, but this is nice. There's a lot of stuff in the street if you forget to walk around here. That's a shotgun. And it's a double barrel shotgun, so that's... Usually in games, double barrel shotguns are actually much stronger than normal shotguns. And that's my cat running down the stairs. Ooh, and two more bits of ammo. Um, smash it, smash it. No, oh, okay, never mind. Um, okay, that was worth the trip already, and we haven't even and we haven't even even opened this. And there we go. And there we go. Where the hell did he even come from? Probably from from yeah, upstairs, but place. I'm gonna have to g circle back up. By the way, because I jumped down here, and now I won't have a way to uh, 
go to the upper floor from here, I suppose, because there's no staircase. I'm going to still run, a, run into every single vase over here, because I don't know if there's a trophy that I just think. <laughs> it seems like it is. It's like the perfect place to put a trophy in, like bull in the china shop. And now with a trick shot, we will be smashing two vases in one go. There we go. Ah, uh, there's one more vase over there, but I'm, I'm going to spend a lot of throwables on all of this if I want to do that. So let's just open up the door. Ooh, no, that's not the door. This is the door. There we go. There we go. And now we can squeeze through. Okay. So let's go back into the building with the staircase. I think that was this one, right? Yeah. So let's go back over here, jump across again, and then we can go up this staircase. I'm supposing they're going to be dead now. They probably came from over here, the infected. Um, and over here we have a dead guy with a note on his corpse. You've been here a while. Indeed. And his note says, my prophet? My prophet, may you grant the elders the wisdom they seek to lead us to victory against the wolves. Forgive my indulgence, but my time is short. I pray I can make it to Martyr's Gate to deliver this to you. May you keep watch over my child, keep him happy, keep him safe. So many have died since the wolves broke the truce. I pray my family lives to see the rewards of our sacrifice. The world is not in balance, but I have done my part to right it. You have led me through the storm. Now I must rest. May the current be calm. May you guide me home. And then the Seraphite said, If you want your family safe, maybe don't join a death cult. Well, while it is a, a, a weird cult, I don't feel like you're in a, in a position to argue. Because, I mean, you, you have a, a mantra that's talking about death as well, so... There's enough blame to go around, I feel like. So let's just drop down here. That's gold. Was that too high, Abby? I apologize. Hope I don't break the knees of the Joel killer. Uh, but there we go. Let's grab the brick. And move along. There's like a dragon statue in the trees over there. Anything over here? Because it's been really quiet aside from a few infected. It's been really, really quiet. Oh no, the safe. I forgot about the safe. No, no, I haven't forgotten about the safe. 6, 8, 9, 6, 8, 9. There we go. That opens that up and we get ooh, another manual. I need more pills. So that is Urban Warrior? Urban Warrior, yeah. Close Quarters Combat Training for Civilians. Okay. Got that. So now we have the Brawler Tree. And there's another lock tree over there. Okay. Uh, so momentum after killing an enemy with a strike for a short time. Your next melee attack will also be a strike. Strikes are high damage melee moves against stunned or surprised enemies. So you can chain strike attacks. That is actually really powerful. Uh, craft improved health kits, aim, aim stability increase, faster health kits, and momentum duration. So momentum lasts longer, and that's the first ability again. So momentum itself seems very, very powerful. And with the amount of pills in here, I feel like we're going to be able to. So that's 19, 6, and 6. And we're actually full up on the ammo on the, the rifle. I'm going to keep that in hand for now. But with those spills, okay, so we have 41. I want to do the health increase first, so we'll see about the rest later on. Moving on. Okay, so another checkpoint and definitely something that looks like Chinatown. I don't know if Seattle has a Chinatown, but it definitely looks like it. And I don't see the Ferris wheel anymore, but Abby did say that we needed to follow the apps of the smartest skate. You just keep coming back here. Uh-huh. Didn't we just clean all this shit up? Okay. So there's a bunch of flowers near Martha's Gate and this truck marked with a Seraphite symbol. We can probably open that up. There's a lot of stuff around here. I don't know what the way forward is, so I'm just gonna try and take a look at these side areas. And we get another note. Another big one, by the way. Um, Cam, thanks for the note, I appreciate it. Can't wait to see you again. Meanwhile, I'm still stuck guarding the Scar Prophet. I didn't tell you this, but on the last shift, I talked to her. I asked her why she, is she doing this? Why doesn't she ask her people to lay down their arms? 
She started off with the usual scar BS, how we need to go back to nature, talk a bunch about the alliance we have on machines, but then she said she doesn't want a war. That outbreak day was a wake-up call, but not all of us woke up, or something like that. It was just getting interesting when fucking Lewis walks in and gives me shit about talking to her, but when he started screaming at her, she just smiled back at him. Even when they moved her cells and the other guards were calling her names and pushing her around, she just kept that calm smile. It was spooky. Everyone says she's crazy, but I'll tell you what. After hanging out with her, I get what she's saying. Don't get me wrong, I think her followers are still fucking loons, but she has a way about her that draws you in. I hear rumblings that they want to move her to a more secure location. See you back home. Be careful, Sally. Isaac. So that is more interesting. He turned a crazy person into a martyr. Okay, so martyr's gate. So they probably killed the woman we've seen. So that's actually interesting. So that woman is supposed to be dead. I have not checked for infected over here. Um, there is a way out of here, by the way. And another holster. This, but wait, wait. I don't have a secondary... I don't have a secondary... Uh... Ah, yeah, I do have. That's the hunting pistol, right? I do have more stuff than that. And there's ammo over here, crafting materials. And yeah, we haven't seen a workbench in a while now. This might still contain pills. Nope. Stabby, stabby. But, 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 but. I feel like there's an, a very important lore object over here. I'm assuming that, well, Isaac kills the Scar Prophet, whatever her name was. And killed it over here, because this seems like, yeah, definitely a shrine of some sort. Can I open that up? This doesn't seem like a good idea. Wow. So yeah, this makes things more interesting. This is pushing the story forward. Now we're going to find out a lot about the scars, but again, this seems optional. Why would you make this optional? My prophet, I ask that you grant me, may you bring me... Perhaps what I ask is impossible, but I must ask. Bless the wolves with your insight, with your wisdom, with your love, that they might renounce their selfish ways and lay down their arms. May you bring peace to this world. You want peace? Easy. Stay on your island. But I think the point is that the WLF is just as aggressive. We've... They made a point of... Killing everybody they come across if they don't join the WLF. So there's plenty of notes around here. My profits, my wants are few, my needs are simple, but my hands are clumsy and I'm unable to con contribute to the efforts of our village. Mending, forging, building. I ask you grant me these abilities that I might be productive and respected. Okay, at least that one's a practical request. Are we going to check each and every one of these? Feels like there's a lot on them. My prophet, I wish to rejoin the Huns. May you gr grant my wish for a new steed, swift and strong, a new saddle, and a new bridle. She's not a genie, dude. Okay. Doesn't mean that they can't request something. Prophet, I am a good soldier. I have freed two wolves in your name. I will send you many more. Please honor m me by letting me live long enough to see your salvation spread across this land. That's from a child! That child killed two people. I mean, Ali has killed all the people while she was a child, but still. Wait, this... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that just moves... That's probably the way forward. So in that building, we have another way forward. But not forward, probably. That's going to be another side area. There's a ladder here, even. This place is way too big again. I can't decide where to go first. Uh, we can go up here, but that once more brings me... Aha! Should I grab the pipe or stick to the... The axe for now? Uh, I'll check out the other area first, and then we'll see if we go over to the pipe or not. So let's just... Okay. That was not what I wanted to do, but fair enough. Let's go check that out that side area. Oh, there's a few more requests on the other side that I haven't checked out. Let's just grab these and take a look. My prophet, may you bring your children prosperity and strength that we might cleanse this world of its sickness and start anew. That's a big ask, dude. That is indeed a very big ask. And then the... F 
final one, I think. My prophet, may you grant the elders the wisdom to pair me with Edmund. He is strong and capable, tender and kind. I long to bend to bear his children. Okay. Ooh, someone wants to get laid. Yeah, okay, happy. Happy is weird sometimes. I mean, that was a... So you're talking about the people that you hate, and suddenly it's all, ooh, Tamil wants to get laid. That was a bit too... Losing my sunlight. Out of character here. Um, yeah, losing the sunlight. Maybe you shouldn't be putting, like, this, these really big stretches of open areas in between every single level. Um, I mean, it's also a little bit of a gripe for me in this game. There's constantly, every single chapter starts with, hey, we need to get over there to a landmark far away in the distance. And then you think, okay, it's going to probably skip forward at a certain point, but then it never actually does. Now, don't get me wrong, I like this game. I, I really like this game. Uh, at least the experience that it's giving me. It's, it's, it's a really, really nicely crafted game and experience, but I feel like it's too long. I'm doing this for 20 hours already, and I feel like half of that time was just spending walking around looting the place and just not getting anywhere or moving the story forward um which i think we're gonna get a big part of now okay so there's a sniper up there i don't know if this grass is actually high enough um, oh wow, there's a lot of them. No, 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 no. There's at least like five of them, six of them. Yes, I spent a year in the watchtowers, and the elders agreed I was ready. And now that you're here, what do you think? It's an honor. Should probably turn off the light. The wolf lands are more desolate than I imagined. But anyone I've ever lived here. We are blessed by our prophet's wealth. Guide us through the dark. Okay, these guys are really creepy, by the way. Do I need to take these guys out? Because I could. They're really separated from everybody else. There's a wolf here! <laughs> There we go, and then let's just strike it down. Okay. Now where's everybody else going? It's all the moving around. Um, there goes one. Ow! Okay, so there's that sniper over there. Yeah, okay, bye. Um, there might be... There's definitely... Yeah, there he is. Ah, okay, so there's definitely a few snipers around. There we go. I'm just trying to, to get a good shot. They're actually... Wow, this thing isn't accurate, is it? Or am I just putting the... Wait, what the hell is going on? I'm wasting a lot of ammo here. Should probably try and move up, because uh, the rifle isn't doing shit. It might have an effective range. There we go, that's one in the face. And then there's that one. He's gonna... There we go, that's another one. I don't know how I did that, it's probably through the wall. There we go. I'm wasting a lot of my ammo here, but it's gonna have to happen. Ow! Okay, okay, let's just pull that out. There's definitely two more. Ow! And I can't get closer. There's one up there. Ah, the up there. God damn it. Okay, this is annoying. There we go. There was one up there. I feel like there's definitely two more. If I can go up to the building, oh, that's gonna be a bad idea. Okay. Ow! What? Wait, whoa, whoa. Ow. 
Yeah, this is bad. Okay, I'm gonna die, I think. There we go. Now just pull that out because I'm actually taking damage. Whew. Okay, totally missed that guy over there. And I think <laughs> that was a very bad encounter. Holy crap. That's all of my health down. All of my rifle ammo down. And I didn't even hear her say, okay, that was it. So I'm just gonna go... Can I grab a bow from this guy? Oh, come on, he has a bow. I can even hear it rumbling around. That was... Very bad. I'm just gonna have to loot around here, because that was... All my resources gone. Aha, there's a health kit over here. I'm definitely gonna use that. You know what? No, I'm not gonna use that. I'm hoping I might find some more snacks enough to get me up to full. Um, the stuff... So I broke that. That was alcohol. So I think... No, I'm still lacking rags. Still lacking the rags, okay. So we need to move through that building that we got sniped from, obviously. But uh, there's another building on the other side that I need to check out first, so give me a second. All these books. <sighs> Stay focused. You can come back for them some other time. So Abby actually likes books. That's also a, a nice touch. We've seen her reading before, which was... Uh, a nice easter egg nonetheless. Aha! Uh we get a second there. Ooh, the game actually was expecting me to take some hits there, because that's the second fully blown health kit that I just find lying around here, so... Nice. Okay. Thank you, game. Okay, so that seems to be it. It was another comic store. Um, and this seems to be the way forward through the building. I actually went through the game menus as well to turn off the hints, because that was getting a little bit annoying. It's if you're not moving towards the, uh, the main objective every single time, then the game is going to start yelling hints at you, but not anymore, not anymore. We're just going to keep it simple, clean, and just gather every single thing that's lying around here so we can actually uh, recover just a little bit from that hectic firefight, because that was, yeah, that was very heavy. There were a lot of dudes and dudettes over here trying to uh, take my head off. Ooh, aha! Rifle ammo, that's gonna come in handy because I basically spend everything on these guys. Uh, there might be some more ammo. Nope, nope, not next to the snipers. Okay, fair enough. Nothing for me, I guess. Maybe there's something in this drawer. Some more ammo, maybe? No, nothing? No. Okay, so let's just reload this thing. And I think I'm gonna actually swap over to the shotgun because we're in pretty close quarters. So I just want to keep an eye out for any type of disturbance over here so I can just, you know, blast it in the, in the face with extreme prejudice. Everything that moves. So we're moving up into the building. Uh, and yeah, again, another collapsed section. And then over here. Maybe I should turn off the light. Don't know what we're gonna bump into. Never mind, I need the light. It's gonna be dark otherwise and I'm gonna be scared. It's dark. Okay, so now we can turn that off. And... Why? That sounded like gurgling noise, but it might have been just uh, the tail end of the, you know, the sliding noise. Uh, oh, that's gonna make a lot of noise, isn't it? This is, this is one of those cutscene cinematic moments. And ambush? No, but we do get ammo. And that's nice. Ooh, shotgun ammo even. So, I wonder, if you don't find the shotgun, do you get one a bit late at all? Because it's going to be mighty weird if you just find ammo that you can't really use. Oh, for fuck's sake. There yeah, I know it's over there. Just need to get down to the street. Yes, I know, Abby, yes. I know. Stop pointing me into the direction constantly. I know we need to go to the Ferris wheel. We've done it already. But, okay, so there's more stabby over here. Um, can I actually do something with that? Because I feel like I have a lot of it. Um, no, because we only can carry four shivs, so that would be a waste. I can make more pipe bombs, but again, we can make two in one go, so if we don't, if we only have space for one, that's going to be a waste as well. And you know me! I don't want to waste resources. Uh, okay, another picture of the martyr. Question is, is she actually dead? Because I feel like she's a character that has been introduced so many times, but we haven't seen. 
So it would be really cool if she's still alive, and that's just a major pull point. Okay, so there's a bunch of ammo over here. What's all this? This game definitely uh, expected you to have a, a lot of trouble with the, uh, the previous firefight. Uh, cable, when a child is born to the Seraphites, they're like a blank slate. Nothing but potential. We have fulfilled that potential beyond my wildest expectations. Forgive me for not being present for your initiation ceremony. I remember my own father soothing the sting on my cheeks with eucalyptus leaves soaked in cool rainwater. You will forget the pain in time, but the cuts will always be there to remind you of the wisdom of our prophet. We are imperfect beings and thus we make ourselves imperfect in her eyes. May she guide you through the storm all of your days. May you always find your true strength. I am so proud of you, your father, Ezra. That's so they, sweet. No, it's not. In a fucked up kind of way. So they were actually mutilating themselves to be part of the quote-unquote tribe. That is horrible. Um, so yeah, definitely still have... You know what? I can actually use that health kit to heal up. Uh, since I haven't found enough snacks to actually get me going. And then grab this health kit to get... Yeah, to give me something nice to go along the way. This is funny. That's just a wooden workbench. We can do that on any table then. Um, oh, there's a damage upgrade for the for the shotgun. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for the damage upgrade to the shotgun. I have a lot of ammo for this thing, so yeah, replace the barrel to fire more powerful shots. There we go. Some uh, a fancy animation. Oh, are we actually shortening the barrel? Because it looks like we are. I think we. Ooh. No. We just made it into a ported barrel. Ooh. Fancy. I don't think I can do anything else. No. Yeah, weapon upgrade parts are in short supply around here, which is funny. I'm actually wondering, if you do a new game plus of this game, I don't know if there is even a new game plus mode, but do you keep the weapons for Ellie and for Abby? I would assume so, because otherwise that would be, again, a waste, and I don't like waste. But, uh, okay, shotgun in hand. Feels like it hasn't been that useful just yet. Because it's been, uh, we've been in, in wide open places constantly. And now the game is going to immediately prove me wrong. And put us in a closer, yeah, a close and find space. Hello? Hello? Infected? Seraphites? Yeah, I was just gonna say somebody's gonna talk gonna start talking. Just keep heading down. It will serve its purpose. So, should we help with the search for the runaways? Emily is taking the group into the woods at sundown. You know what? Good. May our prophet grant justice to those there we go. states. What? We're under fire! No, we're not. We're definitely not. Those two women just blew up out of themselves. They definitely didn't accidentally run into, you know, a, a grenade or something like that. Uh, there's a lot of people here. I think with the bounce over there. Oh. Found a <laughs> okay, let's reload that thing. Let's just crawl down. Oh! There we go. And I think I should be able to now boost the effectiveness of the axe like that. And see, what else do we have? Oh, there's a lot of people. Ow! Oh, 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 ah, okay. And I'm dead. Okay, never mind. There we go. And just. Where the. Where the hell did that come from? There we go. And then let's just strike it. 
there. Let's just go back behind my safety wall. Still about a bunch of them left, but... There we go! What? How? Ow! Okay, so this is a hammer, bro. Ow! Okay, so... Okay, that's all good. I'm gonna die! Let's jump up, let's jump up, let's jump up. There we go. Watch out! Let's just heal up really quickly. I'm gonna die. They're gonna they're gonna be able to... Where's the big guy? Did I kill the big guy? I think I might have killed the big guy. Let's just Ooh. Let's just quickly craft those grenades. There we go. At least we got those now. Now, okay, so there's one. There we go. It's another kill. Just gonna try and scavenge as much from the people that I've killed so far. But this is... Um, I don't know if I killed that big guy. That probably means that they saw me. Is there somebody over here? Oh, wait, wait. I heard shuffling. Yeah, they're down there. There's one coming in this direction. I'm gonna probably swap over to that machete. How? 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 There we go. There's a machete. There we go. It's another one hit kill. Oh, fuck. Um, um, um. There we go. There we go. Okay, that's the hammer, dude. Wait, can I actually? Okay. Apparently I can use the hammer of this guy. I'm gonna have to come back for the machete in a minute, but... Well, this is gonna be interesting. So there's two more downstairs. I'm actually gonna... Craft. No, not craft. Just gonna heal up. There we go. Happy. The hammer has a bunch of things. The hammer has a... Nope. I want to go to the left. No. Nope. There we go. And then um, the, the final guy. <laughs> that was so messy. Ah, oh, that was definitely not gracious, was it? Um... You don't need to find me, I'm just gonna do this. Hi. I think okay. that might be it. Yeah. That was it. Okay. Ah, oh, wow. Abby is like like a, a roller coaster of heavy stuff just thrown in your face. She could just face tank a lot of dudes and just annihilate them in one go. Okay, I'm just gonna loot this entire place because there's a lot to pick up. And we'll definitely be able to use that if you get another uh, another encounter like this. So, I'm going floor by floor to make absolutely certain that I haven't missed anything, that I've picked up everything that I can pick up. Uh, or at least as certain as I can be in this game. Picked up quite a bit of ammo. Uh, not that many healing items just yet. Um, and I feel like I haven't been to this level and there's people dead here, so I don't know why that is. I don't think I went this low, but there's a dead guy over here. Might have been one of the tens of people that I've shot in the previous fight. Not entirely sure anymore. Okay, I can't go any lower, so that means that we're done with this area. And there's a way out here in the corner. That should allow us to get back to the Seraphites, yeah. Well, hopefully not to the Seraphites. Ooh, boop, ba doop, boop. Yep, definitely more. I could just take the upper hand here and just shoot him from here. I saw him moving over there. 
Oh, there he is. They're actually moving in multiples, so I think if I just slide down... Oh, fuck. Okay, never mind. Should have shot them first. Hi. She's one of the big ones. She has the big hammer thing. Um, hi. I think we're stronger. Are we? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. That was gross. Oh, I tried to dodge. Yeah, I think we're, I think we're trapped. Oh, what's that? That's a hammer. No! Oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That was a hammer to the face. I don't think that's a, a, a wound that you're not entirely sure you're going to survive. Four months earlier. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, my God. This is exhausting. It's exhausting how much this game jumps around. Please tell us a normal, coherent story. Please. Hey. Hey. Is everything all right? Yeah. Is this bad time? No. No. Okay, so we're back in the aquarium now, and it looks a lot more cozy than it did so, before. What's up? We got orders? Sort of. Sort of. You know what? Just how about we hold off on the Isaac talk for just a minute? Oh, and when's the last time you were here? Look around. Take it all in. What did you do? Eh, you know, just rip out some vines, paint some walls. Okay, this place actually looks really cool now. But again, we're at the aquarium. Again, we're establishing a relationship that we already knew about. Maybe we'll get to see something new, but it's going to have to wait until next time because I'm going to take a little break. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode of The Last of Us. It's dragging along a little bit. Uh, the Last of Us Part 2, by the way. Uh, it's dragging along a little bit, uh, but I'm hoping we will get to the... Well, to the point of all of this really soon because I, I don't see it just yet. So thank you guys so much for watching and see you in the next episode of The Last of Us Part 2. Goodbye.